Hi Gemini, this is Terribly Accurate. Thanks for showing up for your love readings for January. This is for singles, couples, and then people who are somewhere in between, kind of on again, off again relationships, okay? Um, if you would like a personal reading, that is going to be the most accurate way to um, get advice on your current situation. So um, if you're interested in that, the information is in the description box below, but we'll just get started. Now, before I um, even asked spirit for guidance as to whether we're going to start with singles, coupled, or the in-between people. I'm getting the Ten of Wands in reverse here, just generally for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And what it's saying is um, Lord of Oppression in reverse. So what this is saying is that relationships this month ought be easy, okay? They shouldn't be such a challenge. So if you're in a relationship that's very challenging right now, um, maybe it's not the relationship for you. Just something to consider as we're moving forward. Okay, so for Gemini singles, or um, maybe you're watching this because you're interested in a Gemini, let's see what we have here, okay? For the month of January. Um, the Magician. Okay, so this is a really important card. This is about Law of Attraction. This is saying that you are the magician. Whatever it is that you desire, you know, whether that's deep emotional bonding, whether you're desiring, um, you know, somebody who's like a very stable force in your life, somebody who could come in to your life and be, um, you know, a constant, whether it's somebody who's smart or intelligent, um, whether it's somebody who um, is silly or funny. You can have all of those things, um, but it's about making wishes for the right kind of partner so that you can attract it. Right now is a very powerful time for you to use the law of attraction. So you might want to write a list of all of the things that you do desire in this relationship instead of focusing on things from the past relationships um, that you didn't want because you could be drawing those in at this time um, subconsciously. So what else do we need to know for single Geminis this month? Um, the Hierophant. So this is really important too. This is um, a really good omen specifically if you are gay. This could mean that you would meet your um, marriage partner, okay? Um, but if you're not, the other way that this could be taken is to keep doing things the way that you have been doing them. So the way that you've meet, been meeting people is not the wrong way. Um, the efforts that you've been putting in, like, so if you've been online dating, keep doing it that way. If you've been, um, going out and just introducing yourself to people, joining clubs, keep doing it that way. The way that you're doing it isn't broken. We've got the Four of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. So things are going to become more stable in your life um, this month. Things should be a little bit more harmonious and balanced. Like all of your work-life responsibilities should come a little bit easier this month for you, therefore making space for the right person to walk through the door. So this is a really good month for Geminis to meet someone. Now, what's going on for coupled Geminis this month? We've got the Ace of Swords in reverse. So maybe you're having a difficult time communicating with your partner. Um, maybe you feel like they're not opening up to you enough. Maybe there's something that you've been hiding from them that um, maybe you want to keep it hidden. Um, but what this is saying with the Knight of Swords is that it's really um, time to clear the air. It's time to take action to have that communication, whether you have to force it or not. Um, it's saying that you maybe you're afraid of judgment here. Um, but a decision does have to be made and the truth is going to come out whether you want it to or not. This is kind of saying that whatever it is that's being suppressed that isn't being talked about is going to come to the surface regardless. So you can choose to handle it um, on your own first. Now I'm not saying that any of you have, now see look we pulled it again, the last judgment here. Um, <clears throat> It's like big decisions have to be made here and um, regarding something that hasn't been communicated, something that's been pushed under the rug or just not dealt with. Maybe it's not even something that you're hiding, but it's, it's time to talk about it within your relationship. If you don't talk about it, um, sure, you can sit there feeling in control and smug, but your partner might start to resent you, okay? Um, so especially if you're dealing with an Aries. Now, what else do we need to know here? Um, Seven of Cups. You're not confused about where your heart is, 
where your emotions lie. It's very clear to you. Um, and some of you are unhappy. And so maybe that's what it is that you need to talk about in your relationship. Now, for those of you who are somewhere in between, on again, off again, you're not really sure what to call your relationship. Are you coupled, exclusive? It's not really clear. What do we have? Ace of Cups, falling in love, you know, puppy love, overflowing with joy and emotion. Um, and so what does that mean for you? That means that it's time to express that. Maybe some of you have been dating someone and you're like, oh, I don't really know if I want to talk to them about being exclusive because I don't know that they're ready for that. But it does have to be communicated and um, it should be communicated the way that you're feeling is what that's saying. Now, um, what this is saying is perhaps you're liking your independence, but you can still keep that because the Nine of Pentacles often does represent somebody who is single, who's um, doing their own thing, you know, doing what's fun for them. But I do have all of these cards here saying that it could be like a new beginning as far as love goes. So if you've recently broken up with someone, maybe it's falling in love with your independence too. Maybe it's um, meeting somebody new and you just didn't think you were um, going to be ready for that right away. Or perhaps it's um, starting again into a coupled relationship that you recently left. Now, what this is saying though is that in regards to your like stability, your day-to-day -day life, if you've been having troubles like with making things concrete, you know, with your partner, if that's what the troubles are, like, oh, well, I don't know that we should live together, or maybe you've been fighting about money, maybe one of you moved out, something like that. I would say in that specific scenario, that that is, um, then you would be more the type of person who should be thinking about falling in love with somebody new, meeting new people. That's where that Ace of Cups is going to resonate. We have the Six of Wands here saying, though, that no matter where, what happens here, for you, that there is success to be had, okay? You've got a victory card here. So um, when it comes to those of you who are in between and you're not really sure, like, should I stay with this person? Um, should I end it? You, you might do better with a um, personal reading just because so much of the energy is different, for a lot of you there um, because you know in general readings we're taking the collective energy for that sign of people and sometimes it's very clear a lot of you are going through the same things but sometimes like especially right there it's a little bit all over the place now we have the lovers which is also about choices um, so maybe you're balancing out a few different people. Maybe you've been dating a few different people casually and um, you really like one of them but then like you have your concerns about um, maybe are they a great long-term partner and one of them seems like it but you kind of like have feelings more so for the other one that's what this would indicate but it also indicates that it's a good time to just kind of play the field like if you're not super committed um, because your potential marriage partner is out there. So in general, whether you're gay or straight, I do see this month for those of you who are not already in a partnered relationship, like really great potential to meet your soulmate, to meet the person that you will marry this month. Now, I do want to switch decks here and give you a little bit more insight. Um, we're going to start with couple people. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so... What is our parting wisdom for those of you who are coupled? Um, trust that you have the resources that you need with you, okay? Um, to get through the challenges that you're going through in your relationship at this time. All of the information that you need, the spiritual guidance that you need, um, the financial resources, they are either there or they are coming for you. So don't be afraid to have those conversations like I mentioned. For those of you who are totally single, what do we have? It says, let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in this situation. So being compassionate and forgiving to yourself for your failed relationships before, if you, especially if you've recently become single, but then also releasing and letting go of anything attached to any old partners in your life so that um, you're totally cutting those cords and that you're free to be with the next one. Now for those of you who are in between, what do we have for parting wisdom? And you have two cards here. You have the goose that says, take time to rest and recuperate rather than trying to continue your striving. So um, that could be, you know, like if you're on a break, 
maybe don't keep trying to push it and force a relationship to work that isn't necessarily intended for you. And it says, get clear on your intentions, stay focused, and then move quickly towards your goal. So assessing what is it that you want really and truly. And that totally makes sense when we had that um, that confusion energy I was saying for those of you who are in between, take some time to rest, recuperate, and really think about what it is that you want. You know how singles started with um, the magician card saying, okay, figure out what it is that you want. What's important in a partner? Because you can divine it. You can manifest it. So when you're in an in-between place and it's like, okay, do I want to go back? to where I was, or do I want something totally new with all of these things? Um, that's kind of where you're at. So um, you could do both and just see, but maybe a break is where you're supposed to be right now, okay? So um, if you would like a personal reading, my contact information below is, um, is below in the description box. And then there's also going to be links to the Patreon site where you get more tarot insight every month. There's tarot lessons. Um, there's a crystal club as well, a lot of different things, links to Facebook for cute little articles and things that I share as well as Instagram. Um, last thing though, before I leave, we have 1111 as the timestamp in this video. And our 1111 is all about making positive affirmations and wishes for the things that you want. I'm saying that you shall be rewarded with those blessings. So really great month for Gemini's in regards to love, love and light. I'm sending to you from my heart chakra to yours and um, see you soon. Bye.